Copenhagen, what a lot of flavor. Copenhagen, you can see it in my smile. Copenhagen, do yourself a favor too. Copenhagen, drive them pretty girls wild. Just kidding. I'm not outlaw. All right, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to play that. So uh, that was a different kind of intro kind of deal. But uh, here's another uh, guitar lesson video. So uh, that's what we're learning. I made that up. So uh, yeah. Um, but before we get started with anything, I think we need to pack us a lip. So uh, Captain hanging straight. You know. You know, do a little bit of that. It's a can I got left over from a while ago, so uh, might as well finish her off, you know, make my tower a little bit higher. So uh, that's what we'll be doing today. Guys, uh, you know, a few pinches in there, so let's take one of them. Pretty good. I got dip on my fucking guitar. Hello. Today we will be spitting in the real tree cam on my jack. So, let's get to it. There's a few things you need for today. Uh, a pick is optional. You're definitely going to need a capo. And you're going to need a guitar. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Maybe a can of dip and a spitter. That's what you need. So, we're going to start out here, and uh, you're going to need the capo on the third fret. And then, you're going to need four chords. First of all, you got a G chord. Then you move to a D chord. Then an E minor. And then a C little bit of imagination with all that. Alright, so I'm gonna start out with a G. That's that's the the in order that the chords go. So what you're gonna need to do is we're gonna kinda do a little bit of finger picking as well. So have your G up here and then I'm gonna come down here. You're gonna play your first string the E then you're gonna come down to the fourth string. Then you're gonna play the second the third and the fourth. You do that once. This is the only difference from the rest of the three chords is that the G plays the low E string. The rest of them they just play the second, switch to your D, second string, the fourth, so you play second, fourth, second, third, fourth, when you move, E minor, play second, fourth, whoops, fourth, second, third, fourth, then you move to your C, second, fourth, whoops, fourth, second, third, fourth, and then you do that all over again, so it sounds like... Um, there was a little bit difference when I play I kind of do a little bit of a hammer on I think it's yeah right there I hammer on to the this would be the four string on the D chord so I go f 
first, fourth, second, third, hammer on for the D chord, which would be your fourth that you'd play on the G. So if you played it the way I just taught it, it would sound like this. Which is okay. I mean, I made it up, so you guys can change it. I don't care. But, um, so you do, um, your G. Then you hammer on the D chord. And then you hammer on the E chord. So, the first hammer on is the D. Then you move to the E minor. But see, it's not a hammer on. It's just you're slamming your fingers down in the E minor. So when I play the D... I go like this. I don't actually play the last uh, note on the D. So I play it like this. Not really a hammer on, but I'm playing the uh, four string. Then I'm slamming my two fingers down on the uh, E minor chord. So it's like. Shit. And then I play the actual, uh, I play that, and then, uh, I play the E, or the, sorry, the C. And then I go back into it. Now, I did it where, um, I played the low part, which would be... Then I play the higher part, which sounds like this. How you do that is you come down here, you same chords, and uh, you just play one for the G, then you play five, three, four, five, then you play two, five, three, four, five, two, five, three, four, five, two, five, three, four, five, and the same chords. I actually play it so I don't do any hammer-ons on the low. It sounds weird, so I'll try it. See, it doesn't sound right because I'm playing on different strings and I'm not hammering on. So, the first time, you want to hammer on on the D, so it'd be like, then, uh, and then you just play normal. That's on the first round. Then the second round, you don't do any. And then uh, what I do at the end of the C, when I get, you know, how many times I want to do it, I go um, to the C, and I put my pinky on the fifth string, and I play five on the fifth, or on the third fret, the fifth string. The fifth string, I play one. It really doesn't matter, but what I do is I just play. So I play on the fifth string, the saw on the fifth string, three times, then one more. I go to the first fret, and I open, first fret, open. Hammer on on the first fret and then hammer off. So this is this is how it sounds all together.
that is that. Uh, glad I could teach you that. I made that up uh, probably about five years ago when I, uh, you know, got really into guitar. And I, I've been playing for seven. So uh, I played my first two years of guitar and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, was messing around with it. Didn't, you know, get into it too much. And then, you know, about two and a half years, I just... I sat down and I just jammed out and I, I taught myself actually. I learned on YouTube so so then um, I just I, you know I was just messing around. I actually was starting to uh, learn a song that was um, by I don't remember his name. It's like uh, it's uh, somewhere over the rainbow. It goes like. Uh, wrong spot on the capo. Which uses the same chords. It's uh, G, D, E minor, and C, and I just liked the way that sounded, so I picked the spot, and uh, the reason I kind of made this, um, I don't, you know, whatever, whatever it is, whatever I made, I wanted to sing a song to a girl to take her to prom, it was like, uh, to ask her out to prom, and, um, I made it, so uh, glad I could teach you guys that, and uh, hopefully you guys might do the same thing and ask a girl out to prom the same way I did, so uh, yeah, um, catch you on another one, hopefully uh, you guys like this guitar playing, and uh, we will uh, catch you on the flip side, I'm out.